Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here. This is a guide to what I think are the best melee abilities in the game. After trying a bunch of them, these are the ones that I keep assigned to my ability bar. As a reminder, you can assign four melee abilities and four ranged abilities for use during combat. And abilities are unlocked by acquiring books of knowledge, which can be found throughout the world. At the top of my list for best melee abilities is Throwing Axe Fury, which I've already used twice on this zealot, and I'm going to use a third time here, boom, to break her guard so I can move in with my daggers. I'm fighting Kendall. This is the first ability I found, and I've been using it ever since, and it's still my absolute favorite. It works on bosses, zealots, and legendary animals for high single target damage, and also on groups of multiple enemies. This is very handy if you get ambushed or misjudge the situation and get surrounded like is about to happen to me in this clip. Find four guards, throwing Axis Fury to disrupt their attacks and weaken all of them so I can take them out one by one. But when another four guards come as reinforcements, I do throwing Axis Fury again, stagger them so I can escape and continue towards my objective, which is opening the castle gates. So the description for throwing axes fury, hurl throwing axes at all enemies in range. And when I reach the boss for this battle, I'm going to open with the second of my top melee abilities, Dive of the Valkyries. I love the name. In Norse mythology, the Valkyries are the female warriors responsible for taking fallen warriors to Valhalla upon their death in the mortal realm. Description for Dive of the Valkyries, launch yourself into the air and come crashing down onto your enemies. So in this clip, I'm about to approach the boss Ruid and he's insulting me and my clan. So I get mad and Dive of the Valkyries on his head. Let's see that again in slow-mo. I love this animation. Dive of the Valkyries is a great opener to close distance with the enemy like I just did. And it's also a very satisfying finisher, either with a boss or with a weaker enemy who's just being annoying, like in this clip. While I'm opening the chest and looting, I fail to spot this one guard who comes up on me from behind, pins me in the corner, so I use Dive of the Valkyries to end him. This ability can one-shot weaker enemies, but obviously not bosses. On bosses, I like to use the next ability in this list, Poison Strike. Description for Poison Strike applies a poisonous concoction to your right hand melee weapon. Poison enemies suffer additional damage over time. This clip shows me using Poison Strike to defeat the Black Shuck, a legendary beast. When I throw that ball in the air and slice it with my blade, that means I've used Poison Strike to coat my dagger with poison. And when the enemy starts having that green mist around it, like you see with this wolf, that means he's taking poison damage. If you're dual wielding, be aware it only applies poison to the weapon in your main hand. This also works on groups of enemies, since Poison Strike is active for about 15 seconds after you use the ability giving you time to poison multiple weaker enemies. But I like it most on bosses to slowly but surely make a dent in their health bar, even when you're not attacking them. And those are my top three melee abilities, Throwing Axe Fury, Dive of the Valkyries, and Poison Strike. And I leave my fourth slot to try out new abilities as I find them, or to swap it out and just use what feels right for the situation. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more guides and gameplay for Assassin's Creed Valhalla.